Thank you, Ms. McMath. Mr. Good, you're recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Chair, and welcome back, uh, Director Becerra. I appreciate you being here, Secretary. Uh, do you think abortion is a good thing? I think uh, my wife is an OBGYN. I will tell you that. Do you think oftentimes. abortion is a good thing? Congressman, if it's a service that's needed in terms of providing good health care. Do you think abortion is a good thing? I think abortion is a service that's essential for Do many women. Do you think women. abortion is a good thing? That would be a yes or no answer. I think I've answered your question, but you I You haven't continue. answered it. Do you think abortion is a good thing? I think for many women it is a resource Do you a think abortion is a good thing? I think for many women Okay, so do you think abortion is something that should be reduced or something that should be expanded? I think women should have access to the health care Do you think abortion is something that should be reduced or something that should be expanded? I, I think women should have access to the health care Do you think that, that abortion need. should be reduced or expanded? Do you think it's something that's a good thing that should be expanded? We ought to have more of it and celebrate that as success? Or do you think it ought to be reduced? It's a bad thing. We ought to do everything we can to reduce abortion. What, what is your having, view on that? That's a pretty simple thing. Health, one or two of the directions. Do which I think one do you, having access which, to health care is a which good one thing? Which one do you believe should be if reduced I, or expanded? The question is, do I think having access to health care is a good thing? Having access to health care is a good thing. Okay, I didn't ask you about health care. I asked you about abortion. Abortion is health care. So killing a child, terminating a child in the womb is, is health care. Access to the health care a woman needs. That would is make important. sense that that's how you would view it with your policies on it. On May 6, HHS issued a final rule titled Non Discrimination in Health Programs and Activities that uses Affordable Care Act to advance the radical left, that would be you, agenda to redefine sex by including sexual orientation and gender identity as classes protected from discrimination. But further, the rule also says discrimination on the basis of pregnancy termination can be a form of sex discrimination. Let me read that again. Uh, the rule says discrimination on the basis of pregnancy termination can be a form of uh, sex discrimination. Can you explain what this means? I mean, how is pregnancy termination now a class of people that needs to be protected? Women need access to care. If they need reproductive care and they're denied it, they are now having their rights abridged. So if we don't provide coverage for the termination of a pregnancy, the killing of a child in the womb, which, by the way, I might add, the number one killer in America is what? Your health and human services. What's the number one killer in America? Why don't you tell me since you're going to tell me what anyway? Go ahead. What is the number one killer in America? I'll, I'll let you tell me. You don't, you don't seem to want to you know, so have me answer your questions. Or so I'll cancer, let you answer. cancer, you know, there are numbers two and three. Number one killer in America is abortion. Number one killer in America is abortion. So your rule says that if a woman's health insurance plan isn't giving her the unfettered right to end her child's life, then she can claim she's been discriminated against. That's correct? The way you described it, no. Okay, why don't you clarify then? A woman should have access to the care that she needs. If so it would not, let me, let me ask that a different way. So it would not be discrimination to not cover the ability for a woman to kill her child in the womb. For that not to be covered is not discrimination. You're not saying that. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't characterize it the way you have, so I can try to answer the question, uh, but I wouldn't answer the question that you've posed because it, it's posed inaccurately. Do you believe that someone who opposes abortion should be accused of discriminating against a woman because they choose not to end the life of a child? Is that discrimination? If you oppose abortion, you oppose the, the termination of life in the womb, the, the killing of a child in the womb, that that's discrimination? If a person is being denied the health care that they need, then there, that uh, requires action to be taken. So it's bad enough that this regulation applies to Obamacare, but of course you didn't stop there. The rule also states that the HHS Office of Civil Rights will extend non-discrimination enforcement to third-party administrators contracting with group health plans that are self-funded. So this is reaching into a whole new category of private insurance. So now, under your regime, every employer-sponsored health plan would be required to provide gender-affirming procedures. That's a interesting term that uh, you and your colleagues like to use, and abortions, and it could even force medical professionals to violate their expertise if they believe these, these things, procedures are wrong or harmful, which they are, or, or their beliefs on the best care uh, in a plan for individuals, particularly children. Worse yet, your budget proposes a $17 million increase to the Office of Civil Rights so you can weaponize the department against doctors who don't want to provide abortions to women. So the question is, why do you and the rest of the Biden administration, why are you so determined to violate Americans' religious beliefs through abortion and so-called gender reassignment mandates? They are mandates, but wh why are you so determined to violate Americans' religious beliefs through that? We're not. We actually protect and are willing to enforce uh, the 
or religious beliefs and conscious uh, protections that are afforded to all Americans. Okay, well, we don't see that in this rule. Uh, I there's should, no I need should refer for the rule. So discrimination, non-discrimination law does not give the, you or HSS the authority to mandate this nationwide aborted and gender reassignment surgeries. And I yield back, Madam Chairman. Ms. Manning, you're recognized for five